Previously on Silver Sun. What's the matter, Tane? Can't you handle the competition? I just don't see any. Well, then open your eyes and say hello to the new digs. Hello, new digs. What's she doing here? Sandy likes making a scene. Well, I don't think she's here to mess up her night. Maybe you should make sure. Your girlfriend looks jealous. Should she be? I'd like to volunteer for the escape module again. Permission denied. But, sir... Show a little respect, Tane. The commander makes the decisions around here. Watch out, Mara. He's changing you for the worse. Uh-uh. I'm changing him for the better. There's a reason for C2 losing it. He's a harvest clone. He's not built to last. So what do we do? We have to put him back in his pod as soon as possible. No! Not to go back. What then? You said you made mistakes too. Well, I want to fix mine. Are you really going to try and make it to Earth? We're going to miss you. Goodbye. What's happening? Syriax is having another shot at the escape module. Is that the clone? This is crazy. He'll blow us all up. He's doing a good job. He really wants to help us, sir. We have Breakaway. Starrunner, you're free. We have to go back for him. Get a lock on that module. No, I've made my decision. See ya. I'm going. What's that? We're approaching the Andromeda line. And that means... That if Star Runner gets into any trouble, there's no way of getting back. It's the point of no return. Star Runner leaves on its 90-year journey to the New World. On board, an elite young crew and 550 settlers frozen in suspended animation. Heads up for the descale on the jet vanes. Yeah, I'm on it next shift. Uh, it's okay, Tane. I'll handle the descale. You can help me if you want. Well, descale is engineering, so you can tag along if you want. No, no, no. Anything to do with the jet vanes is navcom because it affects our manual flight control. Check your drills of vital action. Routine maintenance, which is what this is, is overseen by the engineer, who is me. Hey, look, this is probably a guy thing, so maybe you won't appreciate my input, but here's an idea. Why don't you work together, guys? I'm fine with that. As long as Navcon, which is me, calls the shots. Now, well, see, that's where our problem starts, Flyboy. Did he just call me Flyboy? We're well, acting like some pilot ace. Pilot officers have a whole lot more expertise than grease monkeys. Did he just call me a grease monkey? I think I need a cup of coffee. Nice one, guys. Nice. Tycho. I told you not to muck around with things you don't understand. I'm experimenting. You're being an idiot. What would you know? I thought you'd understand, Chen. Why would that be, Tycho? Because what I'm doing is science. What would you know about science? You don't even know how to spell it. Yes, I do. Go on, then. It starts with an S. You used to spell it with a C until I told you. Looks like there's not much chance of getting a quiet cup of coffee. Sorry, Tycho's been mucking around with the controls on the chuck truck. I've been experimenting. It's all right. You can check the book if you like. I'm not disputing you've got a booking, because that's you all over, isn't it? Buy the book. You've always got to make things personal. Well, it is personal. Hi. Hi. Are you OK? So, so. You would tell me if there was something wrong, wouldn't you? I don't know. What's that mean? Don't hold out on me, Tane. Look, Nella, when you're thinking about something, you shouldn't talk about it till, you know, you've thought about it. Why? Because what are you going to say about it? That's what friends are for. To talk things through before they make sense. So that they do make sense. It's just that I had an argument with Steve. And? And nothing. That's a lie. It's obviously something because you're still stewing over it. You see, this is why I don't bring things up with you. Because you go on about it. We haven't even talked about it yet. We're talking about it right now. No, we're not. See? You're going on about it. I knew you would. Oh. I'll throttle him one day. Nella. A 
I see the jet vane descales do. Yes, I know, sir. So is Stephen Tain onto it? Kind of. Syriax, I think we need to do something to boost the crew morale. Relieve the boredom, the tension. I'm not sure I understand you. Well, they're at each other's throats. Lillian's right, sir. Tain and Steve were really shaping up to each other before. We need to do something to break the monotony. Like what? Something left of field. I don't know. Unexpected. Off the wall. You've got my attention. And mine. In a few hours, the Star Runner will cross the Andromeda line. As you know, this marks the extreme range of our escape modules. In other words, after this point, we have no lifeboats. So, to celebrate this momentous occasion, and to give you guys a chance to let your hair down, Lillian thought it'd be a good idea to have a ceremony. It's important to mark milestones in our journey with a small commemoration. So, we're holding a crossing the line ceremony to give the occasion some significance. What do we have to do? Karen will coordinate proceedings. First of all, we need someone to volunteer to be Queen Andromeda. Who's Queen Andromeda? She's an astrological character who will welcome us across the line. I don't get it. What don't you get, Tane? What's the point? Well, there's no real point, Tane, but it's good psychologically. Don't be a spoil sport, Tane. I'll help. Thank you, Cinnamon. I'm in. Me too. Great. Can I be excused? I'm behind with my study. You should strive to keep an open mind, Tane. You're yeah, sorry, guys. I've got a lot of work on. Your excuse. I'm with Tane. Stack of study. And the rest of you? No, oh, never pass up the chance to party. Yeah, it sounds like fun. Great. Shang and I can whip up a treat on the truck truck, sir. <laughs> I'd love to be able to customise microchips. Yeah, I'm not sure about this, Tycho. It's for science. Yeah, I don't know. I've hyped up the cocoa flavour right off the scale, mate. It's the most powerful chocolate chip in the whole universe. I've just got a bad feeling about this. No, we should be proud. So, this is chopped to the max, is it? This is chocolate multiplied by itself. This is chocolate squared. Not since the dawn of time has there ever been such a concentrated chocolate flavour. A choc bomb! We'll go down in history for this. Is this what science is for? At last. We've found a use for it. Watch and learn, Cinnamon. What's our next step? We need a guinea pig. Why don't you try it yourself? No, scientists have to remain objective. We can't try our own experiment. <clears throat> what about you? No way I'm swallowing what you guys made. Come on. Hey, Tang, do you want a truck ball? Yeah, sure. So, you off the bridge, Tang? Well, you know, Steve, I'm not as brainy as an engineer, but hey, this isn't the bridge, and it is where I am. So I guess I'm not on the bridge. Cute. You're not gonna hog all those to yourself, are you, Tang? Knock yourself out. So, Dad, what do you think of them? They're okay. Just, just okay. I think we need to cube the cocoa. <laughs> you mean multiply it by itself mm -hmm. and then multiply it by itself again. Are you insane? Let's go. Hey Mara, you like chocolate, don't you? Nothing comes between me and a soft centre. Try one of these. What is it? Chocolate squared. They're round. It's chocolate times chocolate. Not bad. Take some for later. You okay? Never better. Sorry about before. No, you're right. Maybe I was too closed, too defensive. What are you doing? Writing a poem. <laughs> You're writing a poem? Uh-huh. What brought this on? It just felt like expressing the inner me. What's it about? You. Read it to me. My love is like the stars that makes my night so bright. She frees me from my bars 
and gives my world its light. Dang, that's so sweet. It's a bit rough, but I'm still working on it. You've never been so... so open with me before. Those jet vanes aren't going to descale themselves. True enough. Look, it's a two-person job. I'll make a start on it with you now if you like. Or is that fair on Tate? Let's not get into that right now. Well, you see, I I don't want to be seen as the, the bully of the bridge. Right. You know, my kids tell me that I can be a bit of a control freak at times. So, so you're happy to let Tane do it? <sighs> let the universe decide. And don't forget, Pancha, we're a team. And there's no I in team. I mean, here... We are held in the hand of providence. And yet we pretend that we're the ones controlling our destiny. Let's keep this simple. Tane walks in here and I say to him, Tane, Steve says go ahead with the D-scale. Yeah, is that the go? Now you're being the control freak. We're all human beings, Pancha. Just, just be and let others be. Where'd you get the chocolates? Tyco. You cooked them up on the chuck truck. Uh, do you want one? Not right now, thanks. You sure? Is that my book? Oh, I'm sorry. I hope I haven't worn it out. No, please. You're reading it. It's no big deal. There's no need to be aggro with me. Force of habit. Let's break that habit. Are you setting me up? Setting you up? What for? I don't know. I'm sure you'll think of something painful. That's not the sort of thing a friend would do. We're not friends. Why aren't we? Well, there's a long list of reasons. You know, you steal my boyfriend, you take every chance you can to humiliate me. I can go on if you'd like. Let's start afresh, Sandy. Look, this is all happening a bit fast for me. That's all right. Take your time. We've got 88 years. How well do you know Mara? Geez, Sandy, be nice. No, I mean really know her. Have you noticed any signs of mental illness? Oh, mental illness? You mean is she loony? I think she's going mad. Hey, Zandy, this isn't fair. Mara and I are together. I'm not going to discuss whether she's crazy or not with you. Well, either she's crazy or she's messing with my mind. That's more likely. She's really good at it. Maybe she doesn't really like you, Deeps. Maybe she's messing with your mind too. Hey, guys, something's wrong. Yeah, Zandy thinks that Mara's cracking up. She came into the dorm like she wanted to be my best friend. It was scary. Well, Steve's been acting pretty loopy too. It's like he doesn't even care about the ship anymore. That doesn't sound like Steve. No, he'd rather be munching on those chocolate balls. Mara was eating those too. That's what's causing it. It's Tycho's chocolate. We've got to get those choc balls out of circulation. Could all crew report to the gym and get ready to cross the line? Queen Andromeda awaits, so let's get it on! Oh no, not Karen too. Those jet vanes are going to need attention soon. Sir, let me take those off your hands. They're a hygiene issue. Lillian, this batch has been recalled. I have it disposed of thoughtfully for you. <laughs> no, 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 Karen, give that to me. Ooh, get your own pants on. Oh, no more chocolate. Get me the flavourator microchip. What's your problem? Your chocolate has sent the crew crazy. No way. Look at them. <laughs> yeah, they're just getting into the spirit of hey, things. You should I, uh... try it too. Have you ever seen Steve that much into anything? That's not the point. It's a real buzz to see <laughs> What is that? That's a little something I whipped up for you. Made you jump. That's not funny. What's gotten into you? Get me the chip. Lillian and Syriax have only had half a chocolate each. That's it. Got it. Come with me, you're going to have to find an antidote. Oh, but Pancha, huh? Lab, now! <laughs> 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 Greetings all! 
and welcome to the crossing of the line ceremony. Are we going to have a good time or not? Yeah! No, no, we're not. Not unless you pull yourself together. I'd today. like to introduce you to our special guest, Queen Andromeda! Yay! Do you know that girl? I'd like to thank you all for embracing the ceremony so wholeheartedly, even those who doubted it at first. Once you realise we're all just dancers in the waltz of the planets, it's easy to join in and play your part. Queen Andromeda, I call on you to be gatekeeper and admit these travellers to the latitudes of deep space. Yeah! And now leave old Earth an old self behind and give myself to future worlds. Yeah. Yeah. This is very disturbing behaviour. But she's not herself. Isn't she? Did you hear that, Commander? I hear everything. <laughs> How can they ignore that? Well, I think they're just having too much of a good time. OK, who wants to be first to cross the line? Can I? Cinnamon, <laughs> I call on you to cross the threshold of Andromeda! Yay! 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 Cinnamon, I dub you a true space citizen. Yay! Yay! I'm next. Tycho, I call on you to cross the line. <laughs> You a true space citizen. Yeah. Steve, I call on you to cross the line. <laughs> oh, hey, oh, why is Andromeda such a laugh? Why? <laughs> because she's far from serious. <laughs> <laughs> what a shocker. Oh, here's another one, here's another one. How do you get close to the sun without getting burned? How? You go at night. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody kill me. You a true space citizen! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Did you want me to go to the bridge, Commander? All in good time. <laughs> Karen! This should do the trick. What is it? Lemon juice. The power of ten. Oh, Major Sal. I'll get them up here right away. Code yellow! Sir, someone should help Almost finished, Leonella. Don't be a party pooper. Right, you get tame. The descaling process must tame. begin immediately. Get a grip. The jets are in trouble. Steve, you need it on the bridge yellow. now. Huh? <laughs> Why don't they just slow down and smell the roses? Drink this. Drink this. Down the hatch. What is it? Lemon juice. Oh, oh that's disgusting. We've got a problem, Steve. Isn't that the instability alarm? Last. We've got a compressor stall. Reboot it, Steve. Proceeding. It's not responding. Sandy, Deeks, can you give me a hand with those igniters? Sure. Let's stir it together. Initiating V-scale prelim. Copy that, Steve. Lean back the fuel burn on both. Copy that, Navcon. And feather the veins 11 degrees, please. Proceeding. 9, 10, 11 degrees. You'll need to adjust your bearing as the speed washes off. On that, engaging descalers. Minimal navigational wander. And we've got a green light all along the powertrain. That's some nice descaling there. Procedure complete. Transferring to autopilot. Navcon would like to congratulate engineering. And engineering would like to thank Navcon. And would anyone like to thank us? That is a nice shirt. <laughs> what the hell is <laughs> What have you two got to say for yourselves? We were doing it in the spirit of science. You were doing it in the spirit of mucking around, young man. Oh, I preferred you the way you were last night, Dad. Well, I don't. I'm prepared to overlook this whole unfortunate business if... if you forget about last night. Can you tell us one last joke? Absolutely not. 
But the one about Sirius was very funny, Steve. I... That's enough. I've got work to do. Dad, where do you get one of those hand buzzer things, you know? Dad, come on, tell me. I never realised you had it in you. Had what in me? All that beautiful poetry. That was the chocolate talking. Yeah, well, it was only bringing out something that was in you already. Either way, I'm just glad it's over. Why does it have to be over? Because that's not me. Maybe this is not you, and the poet is the real you. Trust me, Leonella, what you're looking at right now is the real me. What are you so afraid of? Expressing your feelings? There's no shame in that. Nella. No. I want to coax out what's buried deep down inside you. Can we talk about this some other time? If we're going to continue with each other, I need you to be up front with me. From now on, I want you to tell me exactly what's going on in that head of yours. Honesty from now on. Deal? Just honesty. No poetry. Honesty's fine. Deal. You're watching the waltz of the planets. Huh? That's what you called it last night. Deegs, could you do me a favour? Don't remind me of anything I did last night. Go on my file for sure. Believe me, there's a lot of things that happened last night that won't go on anyone's file. Did I really wear that stupid cape? You looked great. Oh, Zandy saw me, right? I'd be lying if I said she didn't enjoy it. She saw me dressed up and dancing around like a fairy. I'll bet she enjoyed it. I've got to say, I, I kind of like the wild please yourself, Mara. The Queen Andromeda in you. Well, that's too bad. Because you're never going to see her again. You're so all or nothing. Why can't you just be a little bit of both? I'm happy just being a disciplined cadet flying officer. If you want weird, Zandy's your girl. Well, I thought that went very well. Even though some of us were not ourselves. <laughs> Who exactly was Steve? <laughs> I was afraid to ask. <laughs> as long as he doesn't do anything on course. <laughs> oh, look, a fallen star. I think you just crossed the line there. I blame it on the chocolate. Is that your story? I'm sticking to it. <laughs>